Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. So today I am doing a commission piece. This is a three piece and each piece is a 12 inch by 12 inch cradle board. You may have seen the test pieces for this that I did about a month or so ago. We did a white background and then a gray background test piece and we decided to go with the white background. So how I prepped these panels was I sanded and painted them white and then I repeated that step two more times and I also do the sides when I do that. I like to do it because I think that it helps with bubbles in the wood but it also just helps to have a really nice white canvas to work on. That way the edges are already done and it just looks better. So the colors that I'm going to be using today are gray rose gold and then we added some regular gold as an embellishment and then it is also going to be embellished with crushed glass. So where I've got these colors I've got silver mist and rose gold from the color cottage they are mica powders and then I have some pearl white from Art and Glow that I mixed with a little bit of regular white paint so it, the white has a really pearly sparkle to it. This is a little thing that I made with a new mold and some leftover resin from the first layer. I didn't record it, so if you want to see more pictures of it, you can find that on Instagram, wanderingr816. All of my social media, along with all of the materials that I'm using today, will be listed in the description below, along with some materials that I just use on a regular basis, like my silicone cups and mixing sticks and masks for protection, things like that. There will be links to all of those products if you're interested in seeing them or purchasing them. So as you can see, I am just laying down all of my colors right now and then I'm going to be heating the resin before I do my swipes. And that's why I say protection. When you're going to be heating the resin as much as I am for this project, you want to make sure that you are wearing a respirator mask and that you have good ventilation wherever you're working. So I am using freezer paper for my swipes. And I really like the Color Cottage Micas for swiping. I feel like they make really beautiful designs in the resin. And I'm really happy that I decided to use that pearl white pigment um, in the white paint. You will see when I do the close-ups at the end that the white looks very gorgeous. So the resin that I am using for this project is Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy. And I really like stone coat for large projects and projects that have a lot of white in them. For one, I find that it isn't yellow as fast as other resins. And it also has a very long work time. So I knew that this was not going to set up on me in the time that it took me to do this. Obviously the video is sped up. But I think that I worked for about 40 minutes um, doing all this because I also had to put the glass on and then I re-poured more colors. And after it's all poured, I had to go through and I'm kind of just using like a little toothpick to get out any hairs or things like that. And then I wasn't worried too much about it because I am going to be doing a top coat of glitter. Just a little bit of iridescent glitter in the top coat and I will be covering them for protection when I do that top coat. So I wasn't super worried about things getting in it because I knew it was going to take me a while to work and that it probably was going to get some dust in it. So the reason that I am applying extra heat to places that I've already swiped is that I feel like heat can give you more cells and give you more lacing so I like to add a little bit of extra heat over the places that I've swiped in hopes of getting some cells in, in these swipes and it does work in some places it didn't work so well in others but I'm very happy with the result all in all so let me know what you guys think of the colors and of the swipes and I know that some people might be wondering why I did not tape the sides. Personal preference, I do not mind having drips on the side of my canvas. I will obviously sand the sides and then I do give them another coat of white paint. But all in all, I, I like them to have more of a natural look. So I wasn't very worried about taping my sides and I also didn't want to hinder my ability to do the swipes. 
So that's why I did not tape the sides. I will have a picture showing you guys the sides and I will show you my process of cleaning up the sides as well. So the glass that I'm using is a clear glass that I crushed myself from an old platter that I had that was very, very chipped. I usually use a different type of glass. I didn't have very much of it left. I did add a little bit, a little bit of it on here though because um, I feel like the glass that I had, it kind of has more of a shine to it. So I added a little bit of it and you guys will see, you might see the difference. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but you can see this glass here is very clear. When I show you the close-ups, you might notice that there is a little bit of different glass. So hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference and you can tell me what you think. Um, do you like the super clear glass or do you like the glass that has like something on the backing that makes it a little bit more reflective? So right now I'm just adding more colors and I'm going to heat those again and re-swipe and then I will add more glass and I will pick out any little dust and then I didn't worry about covering it for this layer because I'm obviously going to be doing another glitter layer. So I'm not going to show you the second layer because it's just clear with a tiny tiny bit of iridescent glitter. Do not overdo your glitter because it's very easy to do. And then the first clip that I show you of it is going to be outside and it is going to be just showing the first layer without the iridescent glitter. And then the second clip that is inside, you can tell it's on a table, that is after I did the glitter clear coat. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like the before or after? Do you prefer glitter in your clear coats? It seems like a lot of people do that I sell to. But I would love, as always, to hear your all's preference. If you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more artwork. And as always, I appreciate your guys' support so, so much. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comment section below. And I will make sure to answer any questions that I can. So, as I said, this is the first layer. I obviously have not cleaned up the sides yet. I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I did the glitter coat. And you can see how I added some other glass that has, um, it had some silver on the back of it and I felt like it gave it a more reflective look to the piece. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention, the gold that I used was Pinata Alcohol Ink, and I did mix it with resin because I did not want it to take over the piece. I wanted it to be subtle to match the rest of the piece. So that is the gold that I used. It's Pinata Alcohol Ink. So the next clip is going to be the inside clip after I did the clear coat. And then there will just be a little clip showing you guys how I do my edges. I just heat the edges with the heat gun, peel off any excess with a knife, then I sand it, and then I paint it, and then I will put wire on the back of it, and it is completely ready to go. There will be some pictures at the end. Thank you guys so, so much. I will catch you all later. Hope you guys had a great day. Bye.